today's topic is handling objections. I love this topic. Let's begin as usual with a quote. Obstacles are the things we see when we take our eyes off of our goal. Zig Ziglar. And you'll see why this quote is appropriate. So, are you hearing objections? Of course you are. So let's be real, everyone. Everyone hears objections regardless of how successful they are in their business. I hear objections all the time. In fact, the most successful people are the ones who received the most no's. This is a fact, I promise. One of the differences between those who are successful and those who aren't is that they've made it a priority to improve in their ability to overcome objections. Hear it again. They've made it a priority to improve in their ability to overcome objections. And you do this by practicing and trying to overcome objections as you get them. Not stopping when someone says no. No, you're gonna hear that a million times in this business always okay but you got to keep going and you move through them past them there's a document called the how to overcome objections it's a great resource to learn just as the name implies how to overcome common objections and it's also complete with scripts to help you get started i will be attaching that in the description section the video on overcoming objections like a pro is also going to give you some really great ideas. It's called how to overcome objections. And again, I will be attaching the link right below uh, once you finished watching this video. So excited. When I began, we didn't have any of this stuff. So the fact that we have documents and videos, it's just flipping awesome. So here's the main point. If you get objections, it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It doesn't. It doesn't. Listen to me. It doesn't. It just means that the person you're talking to doesn't have enough information yet in order to make a positive decision. It doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It means that they don't have enough information to make a positive decision. So look at getting an objection, like just getting more information from the person that you can use to help them eventually make a positive decision. And listen, some people might never be interested and that's okay, but that's not the case with most people or everyone. So when you get an objection, stay positive, stay positive. Ask them questions about their objection and show a sincere interest in helping them. This is not about you getting success club or making the sale. It's truly about helping the other person. So here's a little note, avoid asking yes, no questions. You want to hear people talking. You really want to hear them talking so that you can understand them. So what are the things you do like about it? That's a question, right? In what ways could it be a positive thing in your life? That's another kind of question that would get the person talking. Here's another thing you can say. That's interesting. Can you share more? Can you share more with me why you have that concern? That Beachbody is a pyramid scheme, that the exercise program is not going to work, whatever that is, right? Just be yourself, you guys, but be bold in wanting to help them get past their objection because you just, you know just how much their life will be better and the results that they're going to get if they make that simple choice to give Beachbody a chance. Always keep that in mind. Help them so that they can get to that choice that can possibly change their life forever. Remember, this is your business and helping people is what you do. That's our job. 
Handling price objections as you invite people to your challenge groups, that's one of the more uh, common objections that you're gonna get. You're here, you're gonna be hearing about price, right? That's one of the most common objections. Most of the people that you will meet don't currently allocate money in their budget to their health and to their fitness. And so you're introducing something that is completely new and that's why they're talking to you. So see yourself as a consultant, as a friend that is going to help them see the importance of taking care of themselves. When you hear concerns on price, realize that in most cases, the price really isn't the real concern. It's just a convenient one, okay? It's just, I don't wanna say it's an excuse, but it is. It's just a convenient way to say, I don't have the money for it. What you need to do is just ask a few questions to get to the real concern. What are their real concerns? So here are a few example questions to give you some ideas. So the client says, yeah, I want to join your challenge group, but I just, I just don't have the funds right now. So what would you say, right? I think a lot of coaches would probably just get discouraged right away. Be like, okay, well, that's okay. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to relate to them and you're going to disarm their objection. You're going to say something like, great, I'm glad you see the value in the challenge group. I know that it's going to be a great step for you in reaching your, your fitness goals. And the more specific you can be, the better. So if they said they want to lose 20 pounds, say that, right? And hey, I totally understand where you're coming from. You know, a lot of my clients had the same, um, they had the same concern when they got started. Or maybe you had the same concerns, right? I had to put stuff on my credit card to get started. I just, and then you go back to the script, I just want to help you any way that I can, okay? So ask a conversational question that is going to relate to them, right? And that is going to help build value in the challenge pack, okay? You're not just going to be like, okay, well, I'll try you next time, right? Ask a good question. You can ask something like this. Can I ask you part of the challenge group were you most excited about and get them talking okay next question with the fat with the sacrifices you'd have to make to get started be worth it if you reached your fitness goals I love that with the sacrifices you have to make to get started if you reached your fitness goals right because you want them thinking of what they're wanting and what they might possibly get Next, I just don't want to let financial concerns keep you from taking some important steps that could change your life. So how can we make this work for you? You can really, really position yourself as someone that wants to help them. And ask, after asking questions, go back and circle back to the invite. I know it may not be easy to get started, but I can promise you that it's going to be worth it. Besides, the company has a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't seeing the results that you want, if you really feel like this is not worth your time and your money, you can get your money back. You've got 30 days and you've got nothing to lose and a whole lot to gain. And again, I can totally relate to your experience. Can I count on you to be in this next challenge group with me? or with us how does that sound does that sound salesy does that sound cheesy does that sound like you know you're trying to swindle them handling commitment objections you know most people you speak with who are looking to improve their health and overall um, overall health and fitness they won't be in the habit of finding time to work out and eat healthy and so again if you position yourself as a consultant your job is to help them find that time they'll tell you that you know they feel incredibly busy and so 
while they know they need to do something to get healthy they can feel unsure you know about about their ability to fit it into their into their really busy schedules i mean people work they have children you know they have soccer practice i don't know they have a million responsibilities right like everybody else so in short they can be afraid to commit to the challenge group and if you get this concern guess what be really excited because everything about beach body is designed to help make fitness more convenient and effective for people just in this situation I bet you're a coach, you're busy, you might have children, you might have a full-time job, you might have several jobs, you might be in school. So as with all of these objections, the first thing that you need to do is to relate to the customer so that they know that you're on their side and then you ask questions. Isn't this so much better? There's a fly there, right? So here's an example, okay. <clears throat> so the client says, I think it sounds good, but I don't know, between work and everything else in my life, there's just no way I could find the time to do it right now. So what would you say? You're thinking, you're thinking. So remember what we said, you're gonna relate to the client and then you're gonna ask questions, right? So, you could say something like this. Yeah, we could all use a few more hours in the day, right? I mean, I know, I, my husband and I always joke around, I wish there was another day to the week. I mean, I get it, you know? Most of my customers had the exact same concern when they got started. And I don't know, I just really appreciate you taking this so seriously. And it makes me, it makes me wanna help you even more. And then ask questions for example so so what would the right balance look like for you right it's an open-ended question you know so what would the right balance look like for you okay so you can say something like so just to make sure we're looking at this from all angles let's just say let's just say you decided to jump into the challenge group and that you had to find the time to do it, right? I love this question, right? Let's say you had to find the time to do it. What would you, what would you have to do to get that time? And do you think that the results would be worth it? What would you have to do to get that time? And do you think the results would be worth it? And after asking questions, circle back to the invite right they might have to get up an hour earlier 30 minutes earlier they might have to make some sacrifices and then i would say i know it may not be clear how you'll find the time right now but i can tell you that i've worked with a lot of people with the same concern and they've found the time and they've told me that what they gained was well worth it i mean i've coached women that have you know, five children, a job, two dogs, three birds. I'm not even kidding. And they also found that it wasn't as hard to make their health and fitness a priority as they thought it was. And that was thanks to Beachbody because Beachbody really has a total body solution, right? With their products and their programs. So why not just go for it and join me on my in my upcoming challenge group? And again, if you position yourself as a consultant, as a friend, it's going to be so much easier. So your daily action items for today are share with the group some of the ways that you've success, successfully overcome objections, okay? And if you're struggling with objections, post that and we're going to help you. Post a tip on your social media page using a picture a video, something on how to stay motivated in sticking to a fitness and or healthy eating program. Those are your two action items for the day. And that is all for today. Again, I'm so proud of you for doing the work and 